everyone welcome to my channel and welcome back if you are a subscriber my name is Rachel and I've put together some Valentine's Day gift boxes for my grandparents and I wanted to show you guys what was in them I did not get to see my grandparents this holiday season as much as I would have liked and I feel really guilty about it so now that Valentine's Day is coming up, I thought this would be a really cute way to kind of reach out to them, to remind them that I'm thinking about them during a season that can be kind of hard for grandparents, for, you know, people that have lost loved ones and uh, might not have an actual Valentine. Definitely grew up with family being your first Valentine. My dad would go all out for my sister and I with uh, flowers and stuffed animals and uh, balloons and everything so um, I'm kind of passing it forward to my grandparents so I've got a couple different things in each package I will start off with my grandpa Grover's so I included just a little stuffed animal bear I got that at the dollar store <laughs> This is not supposed to be like big gifts. They're supposed to be just cute little things. Um, I got a keychain that says, I love grandpa. I got this in San Diego at just a little tourist shop. I've got, this is the, the kicker. I actually added this at the last minute because I found one in my own room. I was looking for one in San Diego, but I couldn't find one. So it's this little box <laughs> on the inside. There's a little bug <laughs> and there's a sticker on the top that just says I love you and the bug's legs move and I've already given him one of these before I think in a previous Valentine's Day box but I wanted to give it to him again so I'm happy I found that one. I'm giving two boxes of tiny conversation hearts. I got the tiny ones because I'm hoping that if they do eat them they can possibly just like let them melt or swallow them whole so, so they don't like break their dentures on these. Um, I tried to keep the candy to a minimum because I want them to keep their teeth. I got a little fake succulent in a pot, a box of chocolate. I got a couple of these fortune valentines so they look like little fortune cookies but they're made out of felt and they have a little fortune in them that you pull out and uh, they have different phrases on them like happy valentine's day or you're cute <laughs> just like sweet little things so i've got a couple of those for him i've got a balloon that is supposed to inflate when you like smack the package but I'm going to test one of these out because the last time I was like, oh, that's a really cute idea. I'll get this little pop-up card for my Nana. The thing exploded and I was <laughs> afraid I gave her a heart attack. So I'm going, I have one extra of these, so I'm going to test it in a couple minutes and see if it's a little too dramatic to include. <laughs> And last but not least, besides a card and a picture that I have to go print out, um, I got my grandpa this, uh, it's like a trick gum pack. So you pull the, the gum out and something comes up and snaps your finger. Basically he used to get my sister and I with this stuff all the time, so I'm sure he'll know what it is. but time to get him back. <laughs> that is all of the stuff that I'm getting for my grandpa Grover. I'm going to repack the box. This is a box. I believe this one is for my papa. Yes. Some duplicates. Um, I have a teddy bear. I have the fortune cookies. I got him a keychain as well from California. This one is a little vintage California license plate and it just says number one grandpa on it. I also got him Old Town Sheriff's badge that has his name on it, and it's John, and um, he 
he's super obsessed with like the Wild West and he thinks out here in Utah that it's uh, exactly like it was in his the Western movies that he watches. So he basically thinks I live in a place with like cowboys and sheriffs and gunfights and that sort of thing. I know he'll like it. So I also got him a teddy bear. He's got a little fake succulent too. This one looks kind of like broccoli. I got them at random so I also got him the chocolate and the tiny conversation hearts. These stuffed animal things. So they're two monkeys with long legs and long arms um, for his dogs. So one for Maddie and one for Princess. Yes, Princess. They really like, well, Maddie really likes this kind of stuffed animal. So I thought I'd just get one for each of them. Now that I'm covered in crinkle paper dust is my Aunt Ruth. So I've also got some of the same things, the card, the picture, the balloon, a pink bear. Um, her succulent is a little more traditional with a little bit of pink on it. Um, the candy hearts, the chocolate, fortune cookies and then additionally I got her um, a nourishing body cream in French lavender and citrus some Valentine's themed Mardi Gras beads they're little hearts she's a fun lady pink cheetah print socks I got her a cheetah print eye mask and I got her this little heart headband. I think she'll like it. So I'm actually sending my aunt's gift to my dad um, and he's going to take it over in person because she currently lives in a senior living community situation where I'm, I don't want her to get this stuff and have any pressure for her to like put them on or like use them. Um, I just get them because they're fun and cute and to let them know that I'm thinking about them. Um, she said something to my dad uh, over the holidays that was kind of a red flag for me having worked in a senior living community situation she was like she said something to my dad along the lines of like don't treat me like a child and she hadn't said that before so that kind of raises a red flag that she might be in a situation at the senior living community which hopefully she's safe but she might not be being treated with respect or with dignity. So that's why I'm sending it to my dad and having him bring it over to her because I don't want her to feel any pressure. I don't want anyone to be like, oh yeah, put this on, put this on and, and make it a demeaning thing. So if you've got grandparents and you're looking to do something like this that is something to consider either sending it to a family member you know can deliver the package instead of the nurses um and i'm not saying every senior living community is like this it's it's just a red flag to to be aware of or to just include only include things that aren't the fun goofy stuff so on that note um, I think it'll be okay if my if my dad delivers it. So now, on camera, I'm going to test one of these balloons because I want to make sure they're not too aggressive. Here are the instructions. They come in these little packs uh, with a to or from. This one says, you're a llama fun. And the instructions are smack the pack, watch and wait and see the surprise. The balloon inflates before your eyes. So those are the instructions. But I 
think on the package that they came with, it said something along the lines of, there's a pop. So I want to make sure that this isn't a heart attack causing pop. So let's see. And it also said to like throw it on the floor. So kind of afraid. We'll see how Jazz likes this. That, that'll be the real test. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I hit it pretty hard. Okay. Take two. How long do you have to wait? It's not. There's definitely, it's gotten harder in there. Oh, okay. It's doing something. It's trying to inflate. Was I supposed to like open the package? I don't know. Oh my goodness. It's not, nothing's happening. I'm afraid it's gonna pop. Like in my face. Was I supposed to like pop a hole in it first? Oh boy. It's a little snip snip. In the very corner. Okay. That didn't do anything. I'm still trying to keep it somewhat away from my face. Good news, my camera stopped recording. Bad news. The good news is that uh, cutting open the package did work. There was a small pop. It was not too bad. Um, but the balloon was allowed to inflate the rest of the way. You can still kind of hear whatever's creating the gas in there, uh, trying to fully inflate inflate the balloon the rest of the way but it's kind of cute so i am going to include it in my packages i think it's not going to cause any heart attacks jazz is real interested in it but i don't know what's in here so i don't want to give it to you and so i just have to sign everything now um like all of the little valentines the the boxes of candy hearts and the the balloon packages and sign all that get the cards written out, run to CVS and print a couple of pictures just uh, to throw in there. Tomorrow I will get everything all sealed up and shipped out. So I'm going to run and do that. But please let me know if you are going to use any of these ideas. Uh, maybe not for Valentine's Day. I don't even think these are going to get to my grandparents in time. Pretty sure I'm gonna post this video after Valentine's Day, but the holiday doesn't matter. You could do this for St. Patrick's Day, you could do this for Easter, or just the springtime in general, or 4th of July would be a really good idea. I might do another round of these for 4th of July, and subscribe if you would like to see more. I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.